this project chimed in from that Jed McCaleb interview. Project is Phoenix DeFi Hub. As we get into it, like they stated, we second everything Jed McCaleb said five hours ago. Building on Storbond has been a stellar experience for the Phoenix team. Now, some of you guys may know about them, but for the most part, I don't think most of you guys do, and that's nothing bad. That's just being a you know a realist. So here's Phoenix, Phoenix DeFi Hub. And as you can see here, they are pioneering the ultimate DeFi hub for Stellar Org's vibrant ecosystem built on Sorbonne Official. Awesome. Now we have examples of how it's all coming together. They have this pinned tweet. That's cool. But the point is what they also reposted that I just showed you, right? And of course, there's Jen McCaleb again, uh, Stellar Development uh, co you know, Foundation co-founder. So... I thought I would go over to their site. Let's take you over to there. And basically, you will see some of this. Let me take off some of that branding for you can see the whole thing. You know, because some of it does kind of block some of that. So I apologize for that. So you see here, it mentions that DeFi Hub. Yup, you read it right on Sorbonne. Guys, I'm telling you, this is finally getting, we're finally getting examples of projects on Sorbonne. And remember how I mentioned that when we get this full rollout, the full rollout, you could very well see some price action finally because all it takes is a handful of these projects to actually have some of that utility in motion. Not full-fledged utility in motion, I get it, right? We all want to get to that path of miles adoption, but if we're covering Stellar, which we are, we have to highlight some of these. And so for tonight, this one takes the cake. This one gets the highlight because it really reminded me of Clearpool. And as you guys know, I've been covering Clearpool since December 2021, the first project I ever covered. We'll get more into some of the Clearpool updates tonight as well. Let's go ahead and full screen this. So is this really, really worth sharing? I think it is. And like it says right here, empowered by Sorbonne's tech. How specifically? Well, you will see that it's phoenix and how they're pioneering the ultimate d5 hub with stellar's vibrant ecosystem forging synergistic protocol starting with a cutting edge dex yeah that's cool to deliver the tastiest <laughs> d5 experience imaginable of course we want to learn more and i wanted to see the white paper so i mean when we talk about this is fresh it doesn't even show that yet right and maybe they're because they're still editing the whole thing of the, the white paper but they have a demo to launch the app and i thought this was cool because they walk you through it right so what i noticed which was really really cool was this right here let's launch this all right and so as you see it takes you to this next thing and it talks about you know step one ten connect your wallet initiate your interaction with their decks by connecting your blockchain wallet this is crucial for transaction off the authentication and management the reason i want to show it to you guys today is because in my opinion it does really remind me like how like clearpool is to a sense so we're going to click next and it takes us to for example you know start by connecting with one of their walls below um, i'm not gonna get into this whole thing but you can download a freighter app it's their decks that integrates with the freighter wallet some of you guys i've heard use this and you know it's more of that security right we're going to click next on this. You can swap your tokens, seamlessly swap cryptocurrencies via smart contracts, bypassing centralized intermediaries for enhanced security and privacy. This is the whole thing of where people stated, well, I don't know. Stellar kind of seems like it's up in the air. I mean, they claim decentralization, but it seems centralized. Hey, that's encouraging. Going to the next step, like it says, swap tokens instantly, right? And, you know, it gives you examples, right? Obviously, they give the example of Stellar XLM, then USDC, initiate token swap, choose crypto, uh, excuse me, crypto you want to do this with to exchange and what one you want to acquire, right? Go to the next step, select a cryptocurrency, but they have it all there, you know? And you can see how this kind of works. Even slippage, and this is the point I also want to point out because we gave the example in regards to, you know, source swap. And that's going to be game changer as well. This is another platform as well. You're going to get multiple SWAT platforms using Stellar. 
and we're doing it with smart contracts. So when I stated to everybody, I don't know, was it a week or two ago, that Stellar is literally coming for the throat of Ethereum. I'm not making this stuff up at all. It speaks for itself because you can see that the time of Ethereum is coming to an end, and we're introducing LYX tonight too, Luxo. But it, it just, it, I'm saying to myself, all these people, they're like, oh, Stellar is not moving and so on. It can, again, we're so early with this, right? But you can see now visuals, how it all comes together, why it all makes sense, what it's connecting to, why they're doing some of these things, what matters, what doesn't matter. Let's show some more examples. So, yes, slippage tolerance. Again, Uniswap, we're familiar with that, especially with our DGEN plays. Uh, explore liquidity pools. This is what reminds me, of course, of, you know, Clearpool. Discover various liquidity pools to contribute your assets. How about real-world assets? Participate decentralized marketing, or excuse me, market making and earn fees from trading activities. Boom. That's just like Clearpool. Very similar. Not exactly the same, right? But awesome. And built on Stellar? <laughs> Sign me up. All right. How about this next thing? Uh, getting more into this, this, you know, it takes a little longer to load up this one because there's a little bit more visuals, but you're going to see um, some things here. And basically it is, yeah, they're loading up the whole thing of the liquidity pools. But here's some things that you guys have done in the past, right? And I have covered clear pool in the past. And it's like, yes, yeah, selecting a liquidity pool. It's not just clear pool. We've seen this also with saucer swap and so on. There's other, you know, platforms and so on. As you can see on this one, select the liquidity pool, and it mentions what? It mentions evaluate, choose liquidity pools based on their total value locked, and potential APR is crucial for optimizing and re, you know doing investment returns. So we can even see now how with Stellar in the future, you know, some of you guys talk about exit plans, taking profits off the top. All right, yeah, just like the example with Clearpool, where don't let your stable coins sit around collecting dust, earn yields, guys. This is Phoenix, new project built on Stellar Sorbonne. And this is just one of many. As we know, we're getting like something about, I think, 140, maybe as high as 160 projects going live on Sorbonne. But we want to point out the ones where we can actually give you examples. Let's go to step nine. Okay. And basically, you see some of this right here. Even liquidity mining. Bond liquidity, earn liquidity reward, swap fees. Boom, just like Uniswap, you're similar to how this all works. Set your slippage, swap fees, but instead of dealing with freaking garbage Ethereum, what is the next big step for us? We are going to deal with the one with the lowest fees. Stellar for crying out loud, 0 0.50 in a 1 is the cost to move 10 million in USDC. That is game change. What happens when we get to the next step of mass adoption? People point out, well, we already have steps of mass adoption. We have this one particular bank that uses one example. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about round the clock utility in motion. I consider the blessing to be into some of these things before they pop off. Stellar is coming for the throat of Ethereum right in the freaking neck. People don't realize it right in the neck. Okay. All right. Getting into that a little bit more about this. I know I sound excited because I am excited. I like seeing things that we've been talking about coming to fruition. You know, like the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. Right. So no rewards to claim because we haven't done nothing yet. But man, having a platform where we can earn a nice yield and it's on stellar. And it's through this whole new thing of smart contracts through Sorbonne and Sorbonne, a.k.a. what? Protocol 21 upgrade. Uh, let's freaking go, as you guys would say, right? Some of you guys ask what cold storage solution I use. I use this, and it is the Decent Wallet, right? I also, of course, have a ledger uh, like this, right? You can get a discount, basically, from going into the affiliate link which is in all the live video descriptions and recorded and so on and for the yahoos or that are out there they're like this is just a shield and you know we'll fix point this out and it's a great point were you aware that you don't necessarily get a discount link just going straight to the site no you actually have to go through a platform like this so how cool is that you know i don't think anybody's complaining about that but anyway use the link get a discount there's another one here if you're the type of person you want to get one for your you and your you know, significant other, 
uh, you can get two of them. They have a, they actually have another promotion, which is this, and I think this is cool. You can get an all-in-one card wallet plus backup card package. Interesting. I thought that was cool. And again, one of the main key things I like about the Decent Wallet is not having to do the, the red tape of you know jumping through all the hoops for xdc and the custom folder i mean edward vincent can vouch on that some of you guys can too as well in regards to ledger that was a pain in the butt you don't have that problem you literally open up your phone it's on your app track everything that's going on right and you know singos not your keys not your crypto you know the drill check it all out though if you wish to do so it is truly the cold storage solution that i use for the most part there's still some on ledger that you know i kind of split it up on it and so on so it is what it is, but if I have preference over one, I'm going with this one. A lot easier to use and so on. And some people, even to this day, still ask me which one to use. Yeah.